What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So I'm starting a new series, man, called Niggas, America's Nightmare. And I'm going to tell you something that's real about this, man. Um, we really need to do better as a people. And you women have given birth to some straight up niggas. There's a difference between niggas and black people. And throughout these episodes, we're going to show you the difference between niggas and black people. We're going to show you how niggas operate as niggas. And we're going to speak as black people how to eradicate this problem and to make things better for us as a people, because the way this stuff is going, this is terrible. And you're talking about racial profiling. Sometimes you can't even fault a person for the racial profiling that's going on when you see how we act as a people, how terrible we are when it comes to this social media, how every time you look on social media, all you see is black on black on black on black on black on black. We so conditioned to hate each other, it's not even fun. We are our worst enemies. It ain't the white man. It ain't the Hispanics. It ain't the Jew. It ain't the Palestinians. It ain't the Native Americans. We are our worst enemies. We are terrible as a people. Our condition is only our faults and nobody else. It ain't the slave master fault the way we are. It ain't the society fault the way we are. It's our own fault the way that we are as a result of our terrible bad upbringing when it comes to our parents okay so i need to address these things and we're going to be watching a lot of videos all over the world of how niggas are we're going to be watching from killing stabbing raping fighting <laughs> Uh, uh, incarcerations everything we're going to show the poor conditions of what bad parenting does and why we are affected as a people as a result of this. Because I firmly, strongly believe that it all starts within the home. What your parents fail to teach and give you will play a major part in the outcome of your life and why so many people are dead and in prison as a result of bad, poor parenting especially when it comes to black people. And make no mistake about it, without God, everything falls apart when you don't know who the Lord Jesus Christ is and actually walk with him. So what we're going to be doing in these episodes, we're going to be watching and breaking down these things, and we're going to show the difference between niggas and black folks, because there is a difference. And I want every black person that's listening, not niggas who watch it, niggas who watching, and if you fit these categories, change your ways. Or you're going to have a hard life of suffering. Black people, when you're watching this, I know you know people in your family that may fit these categories. Be grateful and thankful that you made up in your mind to be different to want better out of life for not only you, but for your children in your community. And that you have love and respect for God to the point that you know what matters most in life and you are appreciative for the gift of life God gave you. So without no further ado, let's get off into these videos, man. This first episode is, I call it poor, Black parenting. That's what I call it. Poor black parenting. Yeah, so let's get off into the let, let's break this stuff down, man. Where do you live at? Where do you live? Uh, uh, what, what, what building? Come on now. I no. What? So the police is asking him. Where do you live at? What building you live in? And this is the reason why he's asking this uh, young brother this. What building do you live in? 
Officers respond to a call of a fight between about 20 teens. Some of these teens are known to have an extensive criminal history. Okay, so the officers was called to the scene because there was a fight of about 20 different teens, 20 of them, okay? So 20 teens all fighting each other. 20 black teens all fighting each other. So the officers was called as a result of this. So they asking this, this black boy, where do you live at? Because they trying to neutralize the area by which all these teens were fighting. Y'all finna see this. So they want to make sure anybody who don't belong or live in this area or neighborhood don't need to be here because they don't know who is the culprits involved. Okay, so that's reasonable, especially when the um, when the people was actually calling. So that's very reasonable when the people was actually uh, calling. Okay, so I don't know what has just happened here. It's terrible. So I'm going to tell you. This ain't a, oh, I'm going to tell you. You're going to get Come on, hit. what you doing there, fool? Well, because it's called ordering and fouling and you're obstructing. Come on, man. what you doing there, I just came, I just came out. Okay, he now he asking, what you like, what you doing this for? I just got through asking you, where, where do you belong? Do you live around here? You know, you, you know this big fight just happened. You could have easily said, look, I don't live around here. And the cop would have been like, hey, okay, then go on about your business. But you sitting there like, oh, I ain't saying nothing. I ain't telling you nothing. So I said, okay, then. Okay, so you now can be considered as one of the persons. Oh, I'm going to tell you. You're going to get Come on, hit. what you doing there, fool? Well, because it's called loitering and prowling and you're obstructing. Come on, now, what you doing there, fool? I just came, I just came Okay, up. now here go a little boy now right here. Now he's running over here to the police, and that go another group of uh, people right here, black people right here. So here's this young guy. Now he's running to the police. Watch this. Oh, yeah. He ain't got nothing to do with that. Oh, he yeah. just got oh, yeah. school. Oh, yeah. I'm his cousin. Oh, yeah. So rightfully so, the police immediately apprehend dude because he's running towards them like that. That ain't smart to do. This is what I mean by. Come on, man. Parents, please educate your children. Educate your children. Especially when y'all complaining about all this cop killing and things like this. So immediately out of ignorance, the little boy come flying. The little boy come flying across the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. He ain't got nothing to do with that. Oh, he yeah. just got oh, school. Oh, yeah. I'm just... Right. See, like, see, like that. Now he could have walked up and said, "Officer, he ain't had nothing to do with what's going on, such and such." But he run right up to the police, like, "No, like, come on, no, what are you doing?" Cousin, I'm his cousin. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. I just got over here. I just got. You can take me. You can take me. You can take me. Okay. Now another person just run over. Now look at this girl. Now she just run up. I'm talking about they just running right up on the police. Like it's not. Police got guns, batons, mace, tasers. They just literally running right up on the police. I just you got can me. You can take me. You I can take me. Look at this. Come on, come on. They running on them, touching them, and grabbing them and everything. Now look at this girl. And police say, okay, you're about to go to jail too. Because that's called assaulting an officer. You're trying to stop him from, and, and I don't see the police wrong nowhere so far at all. Nowhere. And I know a lot of people automatically don't like the police. So they're like, well, they didn't have to talk to them. That's their right not to talk to them. Not when you're getting a call saying 20 people, 20 kids is out here fighting. 20 black kids fighting and they all still there. And they asking them questions, humble, not aggressive, and they are resisting. Oh, 
Now they proving their points even more of what was going on. That was terrible. I mean, just terrible. These children are nothing but products of their upbringing. And y'all finna see this. Watch when the parents them come up and you see exactly where these kids get this stuff from. Watch this. Okay, watch this. More, more backup coming to arrive to the scene to help. Back it up. Back it up. Right. Telling them to back up. Back up. Let us do our job because y'all making things worse. Y'all making it more hostile. Rightfully so. Then we all see this stuff on TV. Maybe like, man, did you see when the police shot that that, that little black girl? Because that's how they put it on TV. Uh 14 year old black girl shot by police. But they won't show the 14-year-old black girl running up, tackling the police, grabbing the police when they got weapons on them. How do they know that you're not going to reach for their weapon and use it against them when you already this aggressive? You already this aggressive. You already this violent. You cursing. You wild. You radical. You would do anything. It's my big sister, please. Yes, sir. Now he, now the little dude right here talking about this is my big sister. Yeah, but you the one ran up there. You the one ran up there and causing this scene even worse. Now it's my big sister. So the police moving him out the way because she's the one that's more violent and she's bigger. It's my big sister, please. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Me, bro. My big sister, bro. Please don't do nothing. Look at you talking. Look, 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 look at these children. Look at them. Get the F off me. Get the F off me. All this rap music, all this, te this terrible. We live in, in some terrible time. These parents are not disciplining these children. They don't like to whoop ass. They don't like to put them, put them uh, 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 in their place. They allow them to just do anything. They don't spend time with them. They don't spiritually... Uh, 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 feed them the way they properly supposed to be. These children are raised up on social media. They raised up on video games. So the parents, them is disconnected from these children. Their whole mentality come off the internet and come off rap music and, and, and uh, R&B music. Bad parenting. Terrible bad parenting. <laughs> Step away. Step away. For what? I ain't doing Lord, I can Look, again, all these minors, they have no respect for the law. All they doing is cursing. Bro, I don't care, my love. Get the out of me, bro. What I'm gonna do? We just game over here. Get my sister. Get my sister to okay now the little boy just threatened threatening them he said get my sister off the ground on everything i'm gonna I'm a stick one of y'all officers so that that's him over here calling out the threats you know what i'm saying and and, and this what i'm saying like and just like this girl right here move out of the way just get out of the way stand at a proper distance where you're not causing uh, 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 or interfering with what's going on. And you can record from a distance to make sure cops no phones and stuff out. And they got on body cams. They got on body cams, right? So they got on body cams. They know people be recording. Move out of the way. Stop making things worse. Y'all parents really need to start teaching. And I doubt these parents do not teach their children how to operate and protocol and in, in, in case these things arise and what to do. They don't teach y'all just like when you go to school, 
They teach you tornado drills and fire drills. Parents need to be doing this in their home, teaching their children how to actually function in society when they're not around them. How, if they engage with the police, how to properly do these things the right way so that they can get back home safe. Terrible. You you just leaving your children at a disadvantage. Let me go. Let me go. Right. I ain't got no Wi-Fi, man. Let me go. See what I mean? You see what they doing? Now notice their parents ain't there. You see how hostile and aggressive they is and everything they doing. Watch this though. Remember these faces. Where do you live at? Get, get out of here now. Where do you live at? You work here. All right, kick rocks. Where do you live at? Notice people steady. This is what I mean by how stupid niggas is. They steady. They see it's a big commotion. They see all these cops here. They see all. The, why are people still walking up to the? Why are they still walking up? Why are they still walking up? Rather than just stay your distance. Whatever you're going to do to make sure the police doing their job, stay at a distance. Stay at a distance. Why are they walking where the crime area is taking place? Why do the police have to be like, hey, stay over there, stay over there. Uh, go. Why do they do that type of stuff? Terrible, man. Uh, all right, kick rocks. Yeah. That one. The one who was starting a lot of the problems, more aggressive and doing the threats and all that. Now, watch this. Call my mama. Call my mama. Call my mama. Your mama can't help you when y'all in situations and doing wrong. And that's one thing with these children mentalities. They're under the impression that no matter what they do, their mama can get them out of trouble. That's the ignorant mentality that they believe in their mind, that that's they get out of jail card. My mama, like the police, is intimidated of your mama or your father. Call my mama, call my mama. But we're going to see that these children are the products of their mothers. Call my mama. Look. More and more problems. Look, all these young wild radicals, all this noise, all this commotion, no intelligence, nowhere. Nowhere. Just making it even worse. All these minors, reckless. Rather than just, okay, look, look, y'all, not one, not one, that's what's sad in this damn era. Not one person wise out of the whole bunch to say, come on, y'all, get back, get back, y'all. It's it, it, it getting worse. It's getting worse. We're making it. None of that. Everybody, it's like, it's like the blind leading the blind. If one person do it, everybody else just fall in line and do it. Everybody else just fall in line and do it. The same era we living in right now, where you can have five people pile up in the car and all agree to go shoot and kill somebody. Not one person in the car saying, you know what, bro? This ain't cool. You ain't a convicted felon. I ain't a convicted felon. You got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. You got kids. I got kids. We, 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 you got a job. I got a job. This ain't even worth it, bro. No, nah, they'd be like, I'm going. I'm going too. I'm going. Hold on. I'm going too. Y'all ain't going to leave me to go on a suicide mission just to say you was down. Or just to say you wasn't scared. Because you might be intimidated and saying, oh, you didn't even want to go. You were scared. Remember that one time we were going to ride on such and such? He, he was scared. He didn't even want to go. So you got to prove you down. Even though you probably don't even want to go. But going anyway, just so you won't seem like you ain't about it. It's stupid, man. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Then leave. Where do you live? Get your hands out of your pants. Look, this is what I'm saying. Now, look what they're doing. They're trying to get everybody to get where they live. Where do you live? Where do you live? Because we know all y'all don't live in this, in, 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 in this building. Where do you live? Go to where you live. Go to where you live. If you don't live here, leave. Leave. Then he goes, look. 
Look what's on his hat. I love sluts. This is what you wear around your mom and them. This is what you wear around your daddy and them. I love sluts. Was he like 14, 13, 15? This is what this is the clothes your mama and them allow you to wear. You put this hat on and walk out of the house. Come on, man. Put your hands out of your pants. Where do you live at? Don't touch me. Where do you live at? Huh? Where do you live at? Right here in my face, cousin. I know where it's going. They're they doing right. I don't see the police wrong yet in no type of way, and I'm a black man. Where do you live at? Uh, get out of my face. Where do you live at? What are you doing? Okay, put your hand behind your back. We're not going to be playing with y'all. And, and then you got to set that example while you're out there in front of all them teenagers. They have to see that y'all not playing games. So one person bad behavior don't spark other people to act that way also. So once you start locking people up and they see they, they're about to start going to jail, it could humble, it could humble uh, 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 the situation. Look, don't, then it, look, then you don't have to go through all that. Showing out for what? You could have just easily said, I don't live here. I don't live here. Okay, then all they're going to tell you, then leave. That's what the police saying. Where do you live? You live here? Oh, I don't say nothing. So they can't tell them to leave if they don't know if they don't live there or not. Do you live here? I oh, don't hear that stuff, man. Get out of my face. All right, man. Turn, put your hand behind your back, man. Nobody did to y'all. Now, if nobody did nothing to y'all, but remember, the police was called because 20 kids is out there fighting, and they proving it, and they're going to tell it. They were jumping on people. Watch like this. Today. Don't give me a I want this girl and give me all these cups and take me on. See, I got this drop top body cam. If you don't live here, leave. Nobody want to listen. They don't respect authority. They steady telling them, if y'all don't live here, leave. People still like, I don't care about none of that. So y'all messing up these people's property, causing this big commotion, jumping on people, radical, all these teenagers. No adults, no parents around. Now they keep saying nobody ain't even do nothing. They ain't even do. They are doing something. I don't see not one person that's been a uh, uh, cuff that didn't do nothing. If you go live here, you live here, go to your home. If you live here, go to your home. If you don't live here, leave. Fair, my gosh. Come get my phone. Calm down. Come in and call my sister. Can you get me I told you no. It's right here. Hey, oh. What is Logan? She won't hurt you. No. She can't get you. So why she can't get her Stand back. This is your Austria. Yeah. Right, daddy cousin. See how they, they have no respect for authority. Keeping it real, these are cool officers. I don't see a jerk officer yet. Just keeping it real, like some jerk officers that like like literally would love this situation, will literally love this situation. But all these officers, that's it. They actually really what we would consider to be cool. To me, it's even bothering me because it's crazy because I I would want them to be a little bit more aggressive when you see what's actually happening here. Because this stuff is ridiculous and it don't even make no sense. Yeah, just, just ignore me. We will. Look, now she's saying, just ignore me. Let me do whatever I want to do. They stay telling them, look, daddy telling them to move, get back. She like, whatever, just ignore me. Why? I go. No, move. You want to go to jail? My oh. 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 Look, he said, you want to go to jail? jail? She says, I obviously don't give a F. Seriously. You see what I'm saying? Like, so they not even threatened by jail. They just don't oh. care. Look, so now this girl come on, they were just fighting. Now she's saying that, now she's telling that it was just a fight. She's admitting that there was a fight. A lot of people was fighting. Hold on, let's listen. And if y'all wondering why I keep stopping sometimes, if I'm still breaking it down, because I'm using somebody else's footage, sometimes you got to keep stopping it so that it won't seem like you using all that stuff. So that's why I'm doing it too. 
come to the garden. They got her in the car, bro. Step away. Hey, I'm on the phone. Why you keep talking? What's wrong? What happened? Look, that's another one. She walking up to the police cars. Where the people that have been handcuffed in the cars with her phone? She's telling them, like, yeah, yeah, come on down here. Come on. Call them more people to come down. They got her in the car. They got them in the car. They were, Even though she just told, they were down here fighting. Now they got them in the car. Then the police like, get away from the car. Now she's screaming and attacking the police and cursing at the police, too. Like, these kids are terrible, man. They need their ass whooped. Y'all parents need to start whooping these kids' ass. Whoop your kids' ass or you're going to end up burying them, okay? Whoop their asses young so you won't really have to do it when they get older. So when you don't do these things and properly discipline them, they end up becoming society's problem. Boy, just wait. Just wait till my daddy get out here, boy. I'm so... Now look what somebody just said. Wait till my daddy get out here. Wait till my daddy get out here, boy. He's gonna be. See what I mean? Look at their mentalities. Even though they all in the wrong, but they believe even in their wrong, their parents is going to defend them. Let's see if that's true. Come on, y'all. Shut up, man. Chill out, You all right? You all right? Man, he just arrested him too. Oh, girl, girl again, right back up on the car again. He just told her to leave. She go right back up on it again. Where do you live at? Where Where do you live at? All right, you're about to come here and talk to me. Where do you live at? Good. You do have to talk to me. Watch me. Where do you live at? All right, then cool. We're going to handcuff. Come on. Number five. All obstruction. Order and proud. I can do this all day long. You know, last time you talked to me, you said you're going to kill us all. I didn't say that. So we just put me in handcuffs because I didn't want to answer your question. That's called obstruction. And right now, loading and browning and obstruction. Do you know the rule, Do I know the rule? Yeah, I know the rule. I know the rule. You just put me in handcuffs. So. Absolutely, it's not a rule. I'm not sure where you got that rule from, but that's not a rule. I don't have to answer your question. You're right. You don't have to answer my question. You can go in handcuffs. Take a seat. Now it's called loading and prowling and obstruction. Have a seat. Right. So this is what they were told. If the police want to talk to you, you don't have to answer their questions. That's not true. Especially when you are, when they called on the scene of 20 kids fighting, y'all on somebody else's property that don't belong to y'all, Y'all posted up positioning. Y'all will not leave. Then they asking you where do you live. You don't want to say where you live. You 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 not giving them no other choice. You're not giving them no other choice. They can't even neutralize the area without y'all not cooperating and getting out of the way. And and, and and so the situation can be resolved. Terrible. We need more cars. I'm like, no, they have your phone. Do you live out here? Yes. Okay, what apartment do you live in? Now, this woman who's talking right here, she's the one who's the prop, the property manager. And she don't even like what's going on because she's responsible for the uh, property. And don't like all these kids hanging out in the property. And let's just keep it real. Let's just be honest. When you seeing all these black people gathered up in one area like this, and it ain't even a party, and even if it is a party, that could be bad. You know, ain't something ain't right here. Why is all y'all just posted out? I, if I own the property, I feel some type of way too. I so even the black property manager lady mad tired of the bs this is the way this works if you do not live on this premises then you are loitering a prowler which means you are required to identify yourself to me if you do live here and i ask you your name and where you live and you can't provide it now you're required to quell my suspicions that you're not loading and prowling which is why you're in handcuffs in the back of my car. Facts. I don't see the police is wrong in any type of way at all. In no type of way. Now, what's your name? Cameron. 
I don't want you to be in handcuffs, but I don't want to take you to jail. I would much rather call your mom, come pick you up. Hey, yo, hold up. Now here come the parents. Let's check out the parents. Let's see where these kids get these behaviors from. Chill out. First of all, we're going to start this whole... She come right out. Why y'all got my baby in the thing? Rather than saying, uh, officers, uh, I'm the mother of one of these children. I got a call that she was in the car. Uh, could you tell me what's going on? You automatically assume that your daughter wasn't wrong when she was wrong. And that's why she in the car. So the officer like, hold on, calm down. So now we see where the behavior come from. Watch this. Hey, yo, hold up. Chill out. First of all, we're going to start this whole thing over. How y'all doing? Good. I'm her mother. Why is my daughter in handcuffs? Your daughter is in handcuffs because she was fighting and then thought it was a good idea for her to try to swing on the police. I don't have to. So as of right now, your daughter is about to go to the juvenile detention center. You can ask him questions. Okay, also, what, where's my son? Who's your son? He's in the car too. They tried to the tell her, no, this is what happened. She was not fighting. They were jumping. Uh-oh, there go. Now, she's lying. Now, now this is what I mean by it. don't make it worse. That, that make it work. Now, this girl right here is lying because they're going to admit that they was fighting. She just told the mother, no, they wasn't fighting to make it seem as though the police just out of nowhere. Hey, that goes some black kid. Let's just all jump out and arrest them and everything, even though it's a black police officer that's literally telling what happened. So now this girl, who's actually guilty of the other ones, is bending the mama. Now, watch this. Jumping a boy and then okay look so they were jumping a boy listen watch this no this is what happened she was not fighting they was jumping a boy and then Rashad had jumped in and I guess they were jumping the boy then Rashad had jumped in that's her son and because Rashad jumped in then Rashad had something to do with it and that's who the black girl when y'all saw in the beginning she ran over there when they had her brother Rashad and she called herself defending her brother and tackling the police. If they tried to arrest him too, so that's when Horace. No, look what she just said. Now look at how she 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 telling. Look at how the little girl telling. So 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 watch this. Watch this. They were jumping the boy, and Rashad jumped in too. Watch this. No, this is what happened. She was not fighting. They, they was jumping a boy. They was jumping the boy. And then Rashad had jumped in. And I, then Rashad had jumped in. See that? They was jumping the boy. Then Rashad had jumped in. That's her son. I guess they tried to arrest him too. Then they tried to arrest him too, which would have been right to do. So that's when oh, all right. we're, we're going to stop all this. So this is the way this works. And that's your daughter? That's my daughter and that's okay. my son. Your daughter's under arrest. She um, hit two officers. Um, what did the officers do to my baby? They tried to See that? What did the officers do to my baby? Your baby that's out here reckless, aggressive, fighting, cursing, tackling police officers is all on body cam. What did the officers do to my baby to make her do that? Nothing. How about nothing? And by the way she is, you can tell where she get it from. You can tell, look at this woman say, you can tell this where her daughter get it from. Um, what did the officer do to my baby? They tried to tackle, they tried to tackle Rashad. And, that and look at this little lying girl. Look at this little lying girl. Uh, uh, Lion said they tried to tackle Rashad. Remember, Rashad is the little boy that ran up on the police. What is this, six minutes and... What's this? Six minutes and 46 seconds. Let's go back. Let's see. Here's Rashad. They said, she said they tried to tackle Rashad. Let's see how Rashad come in the picture. So the police is handcuffing this dude, right? Now, watch Rashad. Here come Rashad. There you go. Here's Rashad. Right here. He ain't got nothing to do with that. He just got school. I'm his cousin. See? He run right up on the police. Like, like, where do they get this from? Like, that's terrible. So the police stop him, grab him, like, hold on, turn around, who is you? 
Let me get you under control. I'm his cousin. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. I just got over here. I just got over here. Okay, now, but look, he said he ain't do nothing. Now, watch this. But the little girl just said he was the one fighting. So, apparently, because he was the one fighting, and this other dude handcuffed for uh, 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 not actually getting leaving when the police telling them to leave so we can get the area under control, he take it upon himself, like, dang, they got my cousin. He probably didn't have nothing to do with it. Even though they said it was 20 kids fighting, which he probably did. They just trying to lie for each other now. So he called himself coming down there. But look, in the process of that, remember what the, the girl, the mama just said? What did y'all, what did my baby do to y'all to make her start doing that to y'all? So they got him because he just ran up on them out of nowhere. So they got him under control. Now watch his sister come out of nowhere. Watch this. Right there. See? Right there. Immediately just start attacking the police. I do nothing. I do nothing. I just got over here. I just you got over here. You can take me. You can take me. You can take me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, police immediately say when she went over there, jump, grabbing her, trying to stop her like you about to go to jail too. Now she wilding and fighting. Look, look at her. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Look. Look, just like her mama. Now let's go back to her mama. Let's look at her mama. Let's look at her mama. Now we see where she get it from. Watch this. Do we have a Rashad in custody? He's the first one to charge that me. Notice what the police said. He's the first one that charged that me. Correct. That was true. Watch this. Even though this girl right here is lying. Tackle Rashad, and that's when she jumped on him. They tried to tackle Rashad, and that's when she jumped on him, which was a lie. That was a lie. She jumped on them. They didn't even tackle no Rashad. Rashad ran up on them, like the charge that him, like the officer said. That was true. The officers haven't lied yet. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Do we have a Rashad in custody? Her brother. He's I'm the first one to charge that day. So, but there, there's no charges on that? All right, so, ma'am, excuse me. So, right now, your son Rashad, I believe he's one of the ones we had to clean his belt. He's not being charged with anything, okay? Apparently, there was a large fight out here. We don't know why yet. As this large fight broke out, officers arrived on scene here. She know her daughter aggressive. When they say it's a large fight broke out, this woman know her damn kids. I think gain control. Your son was shot, charged with one of the officers. Didn't get hit. He didn't hit anybody or anything like that. So he was detained. When that happened, I guess his sister came up, and that's when she struck two officers. That's why she is now detained and being placed under arrest. Okay? So out of this whole fight, my daughter, the only person going to jail? Your daughter was the only one that ran and attacked the police. See what I mean? See, see, that's what I'll be trying to say. Like, just stupid. As of right now, yeah. Mom! I want to speak to my mother. Mom! That was that. Mom! All right? I know you won't now. What you keep hollering for me for? You don't think I can hear you? Do you not understand that I'm already pissed off? Because you told me that you were staying after school. So how the hell your ass in the piss off? He called me and said, And I don't give a f when nobody called you and say, and you supposed to be your ass at my house. So how you get crossed out to the better guard? Because they call I don't give a Why is my daughter going to jail? Because you doing some extra. No, ma'am. They was trying to jump more and I jumped in. See, he just, look, he just admitted what happened. So he said it too. So they was fighting. Some other boy who trying to jump somebody named Kamar, then he jumped in. So they was all fighting, just like the caller said. We got a bunch of kids out here fighting. Police called to the scene trying to get it under control, then they all start going against the police. Mama now just heard what happened. Mama now just hearing what happened, so she should know that the police is not in the wrong. Her son just told her he was actually fighting also. She knows that the sister is in trouble because of the little brother. She just told, she just, remember she know her, her kids. Look, she know her kids. Look what she's saying. Why is my daughter going to jail? Because you doing some extra. No, 
no ma'am. They were trying to jump for more, and I jumped in. It's like this started shooting. You got anything on you? No, Tell me that. Like a lighter? Where? Don't reach for it. Have you been around weed? Because your clothes reek a bit. Is there any on you? I'm going to check the back of the patrol car. I'm going to find it if it's there, okay? You might as well just tell us. In your sock? All right. And I'll take your shoes off. Now, now, that, now that's a girl. Now, what's crazy is that's a girl. That's a minor. She's a lesbian. A minor lesbian. She, they gonna find marijuana on her. All right, sit back in the car. She got nothing in her boxers. Just the joint. Just the joint. She had weed on her. No charges, right? No charges. Mom is right there. She comes over. Release. Uh, no charges. No charges. Mom's on the way. Once she gets here, we'll release. Got it? She's got a joint in her sock. Who does? That who? Who's that one? She's the one who threatened to kill us last time, but uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Tell me what exactly went on. So the, the property manager. So our officers responded to a uh... terrible. And, th and this is what I'm trying to say. So you got the other minor girl who's a lesbian. They found marijuana on her. Another thing, bad parenting. How is your children minors and they homosexuals? How do you have minor homosexuals? That's not adults. How is parents you okay with this? Where does the where does the respect come in with you as a parent? Like they'll say things like, no, you're supposed to support your children. And, no, no, I don't. I'm supposed to manage my children. I'm supposed to lead them in the right direction. I'm supposed to correct the error of their ways. While they are minors, they're under my care, my provision. That's support. When they support me, they're supposed to support me as a parent, not me support them as children. You got to do what I say do. When I'm feeding you, when I'm clothing you, when you're living under my roof, when I gave birth to you, when I brought you into this world, not the other way around. I don't suppose to support what a child is doing who don't have the right understanding and don't know nothing about life. But me being the adult who's supposed to know about life is to protect them from the things about life they don't know about, even if they feel it's something that they want to do in the name of love or pleasure. You shouldn't have children <coughs> under your roof, minors, as homosexuals. Stop it, man. Uh, a fight that just occurred here. Mm -hmm. There's apparently 20 individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, that was just a large fight. Yeah. When they arrived on scene, a lot of people scattered. Yeah. Um, a couple people uh, came running up and a couple people ended up being detained because okay. they were trying to fight police officers. So I'm the new... Senior manager here. Okay. I'm not gonna tolerate it. So if you are tied into this and you live on my property, you're gonna get a notice to take it. Well, I already done got it from right. my ADO. Have you met Linda? This is the property manager. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I'm gonna get with her. Okay. Uh, you okay, Mr. Ramley? On my head. My head is hurting. I fell dead on my body. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. You're supposed to. You want to go with EMS? Do you want him to go with EMS? <laughs> you know, Even though he's lying. Where y'all think that is? Juvenile? We're, we're calling right now. So we'll let you know just a minute. We'll All right. Okay, yeah. I'm the mother. More more bad parenting. Watch this. He goes, look, I'm the mother. She got a squad of other people with her. Now you're wondering where they get it from. And she got a squad of other bad mothers with her. Watch this. Her? My son, y'all just called me. Other vehicle. Oh, oh everybody knows. <coughs> Look, they already hostile already. Rather than acting like, hey, what's going on? What is? What's going on? He claiming he wasn't out here fighting. He got put in. So here's a black police talking to him again. I handcuffed because he was out here fighting at some point in time with somebody. So. He's not getting charged today, but since he's a juvenile, you gotta, we got to release him to get custody. Okay. So what happened? Big fight ensued, and we showed up. Who was he fighting? They faced the vehicle for me. Turn up with And so I'm not telling you what to do, but I think you need to make better decisions. I didn't say. So. Yeah, he'll, he'll be outside. I'm just saying.
how he don't be outside, but he outside. And he was outside. He was right there with it while it was happening. There were 20 teenagers fighting and everything. They wasn't even there. And they saying what he don't do. And they wasn't there. He don't be outside. He don't. Well, he's there. He's handcuffed. He's detained. They didn't just say, hey, you, come over here. Let, no. He was the first. Stop it. Watch the bad parenting. I'm just saying. Whoa, the only the point that I'm trying to make. The, we have to take photos. Hey. The point that I'm trying to get him to understand yeah, is regardless sure. if he gets into stuff or not, right. who he hang out with. He don't need nobody. Hang out with. Don't hang out with me. See, look. He don't hang out with nobody. So he's by himself. Just happened to be there where everybody fighting the king, but he don't hang out with nobody. Nobody don't know him. He ain't hanging out with nobody. And remember, that's the cousin. Remember, that dude right there is the cousin that uh that's the cousin who supposed to be Rashad's cousin. So stop it. Hang out with somebody. Right, that's common sense. He hang out with somebody he out here with them while they all fighting. You talking about he don't go nowhere. He don't hang out with nobody. But he's there while all the fighting going on. And still when the fight over, he's still out there hanging. Like, come on, what are you doing? He don't hang out with somebody. No, no. That's not He's not a problem child. No. See, you can lie to everybody else. But the fact remain is, that's a lie. He was. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Thank you. Every black child is not a problem child. Every black child is not a problem child. That go that black card. We know that that's not true. But you still have your son, one of the problem child that was involved. I didn't this say he was. Just how he gave. He was just walking y'all put my child in handcuffs. He was just walking and y'all put my child in handcuffs. You see what I mean? He was just walking, and y'all put my child in handcuffs. So you believe your child over the police? Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Right. Okay. So out of all the kids that was actually fighting, y'all just detained the kids that wasn't. So this is the way it works. So out of all, look, look at the mama. So out of all the kids that was fighting, y'all just detained the kids who wasn't fighting. Even though her son just told her at the car he was fighting. You see how you see how fake you see how fake and terrible and disingenuous they don't have no accountability ability. That's why their children don't have any. They don't teach them responsibilities. That's why their children don't have any. They don't have no respect. That's why their children don't have any. They don't respect authority. That's why their children don't respect authority. And y'all are doing a terrible job as parents that's going to lead these children to prison, going to lead these children to getting killed, that's going to lead them to being in domestic relationships as a result of these bad, poor parenting that y'all refuse to actually uh, correct when you know. When she was talking to her son at that truck, she know her son. She know, and she called it out. Now she's uh, 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 sweeping it under the rug, acting as if it's not. And they making the same as though their children are innocent when they know their children really reflects into them. So their children learn their behavior from them. They learn how to lie from them. And they ain't doing nothing but acting out what they did in their parents. If you notice, all the children, they have the same spirits and behavior as their parents. When I roll about okay? So I don't know who is fighting, but if they don't live here, it's called murder and trial. What's your name and badge number anyway? Now they want the officer's name and badge numbers like they the ones doing the wrong. Right. I don't have a car. Look at the disrespect. Look at the disrespect. They wasn't even there. They make it seem like that's terrible. They ain't got a reason. He wasn't fighting. He wasn't fighting the handcuffs. He wasn't fighting. He wasn't fighting. The cousin already said he was fighting. The cousin already said he was fighting. She was in the fight. She got him on the video camera. Coming to the house and coming from school. Uh huh. So you got him on a video. Okay, question. If you got him on a video camera coming from the house, coming from school, why you had to come get him from another area that's not his house 
and not his school where the fights were taking place at. See that? Why y'all had to pull up? If he lived there, you wouldn't have to pull up. Why y'all pulling up in the car to come get him to take him home if they got him coming from home, coming from school? But yet he's at the area where they're fighting at and he don't live there. Now, I like this parent. Now, watch this parent when it comes to her child, even though he's the one that got this I love sluts on his hat. Watch this parent. Look, he like, get me out of here, mom. Watch this. Watch what she said. I like this lady. Stop that. Stop it. Oh, you can see how he looking at his mom. Look, he cursing in front of his mama. See, like I said, look, he got the hat on, so I already know, I already know what type of dude he is. And I know this mama, I like, I like what this mama say, but I know what his mama went wrong yet. So soon he get out of the car, watch him cuss in front of his mama. What happened? He said, get me out of this shit, man. His mama said, stop it, stop it. Look, he got on an I Love Sluts hat. Watch this. Stop it. Uh -huh. See, I like that part. When she told, now, look what she told Polo. She said, sit him right back in there for me, please. Sit him right back in the police car. Uh, sit back in there. What's, what, can anybody tell me what's going on? That's how you're supposed to be as a parent. Can anybody tell me what's going on? Look how humble she is. We got a call that there were about 20 children up here fighting. So when I showed up, everybody scattered. And he refused to identify himself, refused to give me his name his birthday. So that point, it became instruction. He went to handcuffs to be detained. That's why he didn't see me. We're not going to pursue those charges. We're going to release him to you. What are the charges? Loading and prowling and obstruction. Mm -hmm. And obstruction. But... Do you know what your charges are? Listen, can I ask you like, one more question and you shake your head at me and you ask me what attitude they can go ahead and take you because I'm getting sick of this. Why didn't you tell this man where you live at? This man ain't lying on you. I know your attitude. This, this man is not lying on you. I like that. See that? Mama know you know your kids. That man ain't lying on you. Why didn't you just tell him where you live? Like all the other parents should have been. This man ain't lying on you. You got this attitude, and I'm getting sick of it. They they know they kids. I know if I look, I'm looking at this woman. I can see she's a little older, so she probably had him when she was older. You can look and tell he's getting into. I can tell she's probably raising him by her, herself. You can tell ain't no fathers around. Notice all women came. There's no fathers there, which really should tell you something. Uh, how important it is to have fathers in your children's lives. But notice what the woman saying. She said, I'm sick of this. He's getting to the point where he's taller. So he's going to start challenging his mama. And some parents get afraid of their children when they start getting size on them, especially when they hadn't disciplined them when they were younger. So now the children will end up being uh, 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 belligerent and aggressive towards them. You should not have came down here. It is a phone in the schoolhouse that you can use as several phones there. Somebody is coming to get you. You know that. And then you got an attitude. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you. Now, look at her mama. This the lesbian girl mama. He arrested me because I ain't want to answer his questions. But yet, y'all won't leave the scene where all the fighting happened in that, but claim to not be in part of the fighting, but still right right, right at the scene where everything happened. Okay, Camaro, what's wrong with that? Camaro. Look at the pair. Okay, Camaro, what's wrong with them asking you for? You are in somebody else's property. That don't work like that. I talked to her dad. The paperwork will be sent um, to that address that they live at over in Iowa. All right, so just wait for the court date. So I called the jail to see if they were going to take her, but the jail wasn't going to. That's literally the only reason she's not going over. Yeah. Right. Mora was charged with felony obstruction, loitering, and prowling, and two counts of battery. Right. That's the one who attacked the police and all that, right? 
Gamoria was charged with possession of marijuana, obstruction, and loitering and prowling. The others were released to the care and custody of their parents. That's exactly what I mean. They hurt these kids, man. The bad parenting is hurting these kids. No way in the world these minor girls should be looking like this. You got a minor girl looking like a straight up thug, looking like a dude, looking like, no. What minor tell their parents they want to eat pussy? What minor tell their parents they want to suck dick? That's what you're telling them when you asking them to be a homosexual, when you want them to okay and sign off on you being a homosexual, when you shouldn't even, you shouldn't even be thinking about this stuff. This stuff shouldn't even be in your mind. What is wrong with you? Where is the respect they have for you as a parent? This stuff should be automatically shut down. But this is the problem we have, man. And I'm gonna tell you the problem. What the parents fail to do with their children, what they fail to teach them, these children become society's problem. They become society's problem. This is just the beginning of what's finna happen later on if they live. If they, this is the beginning of it. These are the conversations they have when they be like, man, the first time I was ever in trouble with the police was this day. Which leads into what you finna see happening. When you see these children's attitude, when you see what they listen to, when you see what they watch, when you see what they, how they dress, how they want to do their hair, those are indicators of what's feeding them, that that's inspiring them to want to become what they choose and to attach themselves to, and they become society's problem. And if you as a parent ain't got the guts and balls and love to turn this situation around, you're going to be burying your children. You're going to be visiting your children in prison. And you're going to be shamed of what you gave birth to. And we need to stop this process because it's real terrible. With that being said, it's episode one of Niggas, America's Nightmare.